Oh um, god, if this is your first time watching, I'm so sorry. I probably scared you away right then and there. But hello, my name is Anya, and today is going to be a tutorial on this look right here, and I'm hyper! So, which is why I'm screaming, when I really shouldn't be screaming. So anyway, oh, calm down, Anya. So this is going to be a tutorial on this look right here. This is the look that I came up with all by myself. I know, I'm so surprised as well. Um, so basically, uh, it's going to be a tutorial on this look right here. It's very dark, very vampy, very sexy. If you think this, I mean, if you think this looks sexy, then please thumbs up because I need some self-esteem right here. So yeah, um, I'm just gonna <laughs> leave you to it. I I just calm down. I should, I should, I should go. Yeah, yeah. I need to calm down. I've I've been a little bit too hyper all day, uh, or ever since I started filming. Okay, I'm gonna leave you now. Sarah babes. Okay, that's. <laughs> That didn't work out as well as I thought it would. For some reason, all my makeup brushes are on the floor right now, so hold up, let me just get them. Okay. These are my makeup brushes, as you probably can see already. I don't really have a lot for someone who does makeup here on this YouTube, uh, but... Alright, so this is my face everybody. Today we're going to be putting makeup on it because it desperately needs the help. So, um... I'm so tired. I'm going to be using my palette of single ladies today. This is it, as you have probably already seen if you have been on my channel for a while. And I'm going to be using this color... Oh, wait, wait, no. But yes, this color right here. And to apply it, I'm using the Morphe M441 brush. By the way, when I say this color, don't panic. I will include all the colors and all the shade names down below in the description. It's just I'm too lazy to actually physically take the pan off the palette and check the color name. But everything, it will be linked down below. So no worries, you will be able to find out what the colors of the shades that I'm using are today. But like, these are just different brands, different shades, different colors, and I just, as I said, I'm lazy and I don't want to find that out myself right now because, well, I think that's, I think I just explained myself. So, I'm going to basically pop this into my crease. Then I'm taking this color right here. I know that this is from ColourPop. I forget what the exact name is, but it will be down below. And this is going all over my entire lid all over my eyeball, eyelid, whatever you want to call it, and to apply it I am using the Morphe E17 brush. And yes, I am wearing makeup from last night. This eyeliner was not going to come off easy, so I just gave up on it. Which is why I do have residue like underneath my eyes right here. I kind of want to go for something deeper, darker, more seductive. So I'm going to be taking a black eyeshadow. Uh, this is one from L'Oreal. Uh, this is in the shade uh, Noir C'est Noir. Black. This is black. What the heck? Um, and... Uh, to apply it, I'm just going to be taking, I'm trying to go through my limited collection of blush, brushes. Um, okay, I'm going to be using this brush from Eco Tools. It's a pretty fat shader brush. Um, I'm pretty sure it's, it's quite standard. And I'm taking first a little bit, and I want to concentrate this into my outer corner, but I am just focusing on putting a little bit at a time. I don't want to put too much down too quickly because then that will be very difficult to blend out. So instead, I am putting little bits at a time and blending it out as I go, if that makes any kind of sense. But you can see what I'm doing because this is a video, so I'm not too worried. This is getting a little bit choppy to blend, actually. So instead, I'm going to be using... Um, Another fluffier brush, this is it right here, this is from BH Cosmetics, and I'm going to be taking this black shade from the Kat Von D shade in my eye palette. I just feel like this is a black that I trust, uh, because it is so um, much more blendable, so yeah, yeah, that's a lot better, I feel. And yeah, I just like this color a lot more. 
because it, it just works for me. So that's why I'm using this one instead of that other L'Oreal one. So this is pretty much going into my outer corner. I'm using this to define my eye. I am popping this into my crease a little bit, but mostly this is going like halfway, um, halfway down my lid and I'm stopping like right about there. So there we go. Now I'm going to do the foundation for the rest of my face. Of course, I'm using the Fenty Beauty one that I love so much. Now for my lower lash line, I'm taking the Morphe E17 brush and I'm using it to pick up this color right here. This is going to go pretty much all over my entire lower lash line. Now I'm taking a teenier brush. This is a Morphe M505. This is like a smaller version of the last brush we used. And I'm using it to pick up the black shade on my chin that I love so much. And this is going to go in my lower lash line as well. Now I'm going to tight line on the top and bottom lash line using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Liner. The one I use all the time. That I want, the one that I love so much. You guys know the drill. I also kind of want to do a wing the eyeliner, so you know what? Let's try it out. I feel like I have to do an inner corner highlight real quick, so I'm just going to pick up this color right here and just pop it into my inner corner. I don't want anything too blinky, so that's why I'm going with this color. Oh, well, you look at that, I just put so much on. And then for my lashes, I'm using the House of Lashes in the style Serene Lights. This is what they look like. Sorry, my nails are awful. So for my contour, I'm going to be using my Physicians Formula Bronzer. I actually have yet to put on this other lash, but um, I have to wait for it to be tacky, and I don't. I don't feel like waiting. So I'm going to do something else. So this is a bronzer I use all the time, as you well, very well know, and I'm just going to use it to bronze up my face. I get absolutely just lighter and lighter by the day, I swear to god. Um, I just, I wish it was summer and I wish I was bronzed again. I love, I love being bronzed. For my highlight, I'm using this Amazonian Clay Highlight from Tarte. This is in the shade Exposed. I haven't used it in a while. But for my lips, I want to use a Huda Beauty Lip Contour, and this is in the shade Vixen. One day I will go out like this, and I won't even notice until someone tells me. This is the Fenty Beauty um, Stunna Lip Paint. I saw this and I was so intrigued, and then I got it off the Sephora website because I couldn't get my hands off this beautiful thing. And this is in the shade Uncensored because that's what I like. First impressions, everybody! Okay, it is so pigmented. It's times like these when I wish that my lips were symmetrical, and they're not. But, yeah. Okay, so, first impressions. It looks amazing on my lips. Yeah, I mean, it has a little bit of transfer, but it's not overly so, and I feel like I can, and I feel like this is not really drying at all. This feels super comfortable on the lips. It reminds me of the ColourPop Ultra Satin uh, Lipstick Formulas, but it is a lot more lightweight, which is a big plus. Plus, well, plus, plus, the pigmentation, the um, color payoff is absolutely wonderful. Didn't have to go over a second layer. It looks absolutely amazing. So that is a, my little mini first impressions on this lip color. The rest of the makeup I really do like. It reminds me a little bit of old Hollywood, you know? I feel like I'm having a lot of fun with this one. So thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. <laughs> I'm trying to wiggle my eyebrows, but I really fail every time. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Farewell, peace out, and sayonara. That's my new outro. <laughs>